Hey guys, welcome back to A Homemade Homestead. My name is Jesse. And I'm Rachel. We wanted to jump on here today and say a big thank you to all of you, each one of you, for helping our channel grow over this year. We had no idea that we would hit over a thousand subscribers in a year. It's just so exciting to us. You guys have been amazing with all of your encouragement and support. So we wanted to say a big thank you to you guys and do a giveaway. So we will... So look for that in this video. We're so, so grateful for each one of you guys. And like Jesse said, all the encouragement that you have given us. Yeah, you guys have been amazing. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to share with you what we're gonna be planting in our 2021 garden. Are you guys as ready for spring as we are? We are so excited. And yes, we have kids around us. So you're gonna hear noises, but that's just real life, right? Um, so we're gonna share with you just the quick varieties that we're going to be planting in our garden. Yeah, we're going to try to keep it a little bit smaller this year because our tendency, if anything, is to go overboard and we, we decided that we really don't want to do that this yeah. year. Yes. And we like to try a lot of new varieties, but we're not going to do that too much this year. Right. We're going we're gonna to stick with the ones that we know uh, grow and the ones that we know that we like because there, there's a place for experimentation, but again, our, our tendency is to go over. <laughs> Our tendency is to go overboard with experimentation. So we're just going to limit ourselves to... Yeah. I have a carrot. <laughs> yes, you have a carrot. We're going to talk about carrots, okay? Let's, talk, let's start with carrots, all right? So this year we are going to plant our favorite carrot. It's called the Danvers carrot. Um, I found the cheapest way to buy this is actually just going to a local nursery, and they sell it by the scoop. Because like a seed packet like this will cost you, let's see, oh, it doesn't say on here, um, a few dollars where this whole bag cost me about the same. And this will last us, what, at least a year yeah. or yeah. two. A yeah. couple yeah. other ways to buy your seeds is going to local mills or mm -hmm. like hardware stores. Or probably, green, or you might pick some up in some greenhouses. Oh, maybe or, so. Uh, yeah. Nurseries. In nurseries. The nurseries. Okay. And um, we found buying them like this. Mm -hmm. So this is some pole beans. I bought a whole pound of these and I think this whole pound was $3. So this is a lot of seeds. This will last us probably two years. Uh, Lincoln peas, this again will last us a really long time as well. Did she dump? <laughs> she just dumped the celery out, but that's okay. <laughs> we don't like celery anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll grow in the carpet, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> going, <laughs> going on. We have peaches and cream corn. Peaches and cream corn. We had we these did amazingly. We planted this last year and it was I'm gonna put them behind us. <laughs> peaches and cream corn, we decided we really quite love. This stuff grew amazingly well and it tasted okay. I thought it tasted great. We're still eating on it from our mm -hmm. freezer. So. Phenomenal crop. So that did really well for us. Yes. Um, a couple seeds that were out of our out of stock was our typical onions that we usually start from seed. Um, I did get these through Baker Creek. We got four packages. This is yellow sweet Spanish. So this is a new variety of onion. We're not new to growing onions from seed. We do it almost every year. Mm. It's a great bang for your buck. But this is a new variety because they were already out of our type that we usually grow the Utah sweet Spanish. But it's onions, so it's that should be all right. We would love to be able to grow decent cucumbers one year. We've never had great luck with them. So we're gonna decide to go with the gherkin uh, cucumber, the Mexican sour. See if that grows any better. We're gonna do the Hill Country red okra because they were out of the typical Clemson spineless, which we usually like to grow, but they were out. So we're gonna try this variety. Also some beets. We'd like to put these in soups, like borscht soup or what else do we do with beets? Steam um, them and cook them with potatoes. Yeah. 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 So we have a golden beet and then your typical red beet. Radishes, they usually go bitter for us really quickly. Yeah. I like to throw some in the ground just to try, but most of the time, like our weather switches and they're usually go bitter, so. Yeah, they're very bitter. Yeah, and then flowers, of course, I want to do a beautiful <laughs> array of flowers, which I'm sure we'll show you guys when we do our garden tour. Try to draw in those pollinators, you know? We've had a hard time with these. Yes. And in the spirit of keeping things simple and you know sticking with what we like, as far as tomatoes go, we know that we like you know, a few varieties. We like the beef steaks. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones that we don't actually have pictures for. We like the Kellogg's, which are those big yellow ones. They're a little bit more tangy than sweet. Uh, we like uh, 
We call them golf tomatoes. They're really just like a big beefy Roma tomato and maybe some yellow pear for the kids. Um, and then I'm gonna do, of course, our greens right off the bat when the weather starts to just get a little bit warmer to start going outside. We're gonna do a bunch of lettuces, collards, spinach, all those good green salad mixes. And then I'm going to try to do a really good herb garden because one of you guys suggested making sure we have like a kitchen garden where that can save us a lot of money growing our own herbs. So we're gonna do, you know, your classic varieties of sage and um, basil. parsley, basil. Oh, we love Basil's basil. Awesome. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yummy. We have this amazing tomato basil pasta, like fresh tomato pasta. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for summer, oh my goodness. <laughs> Now we usually buy uh, from M.I. Gardener and Baker Creek. Those are our two go-tos for seeds. Uh, they were actually out of one of the kinds of variety, the crookneck squash, but they did have this yellow golden zucchini. And so we, we figured we'd give that a try. It looked from the picture close enough to what we usually get. Uh, butternut squash we like a lot. We're gonna try some zucchini and uh, see what grows. A lot of that stuff you can just chunk up and put in soups or oh, mash yeah. up and stuff like that. Freeze it, all that good stuff, yeah. We weren't able to find the crookneck, so I could always look locally. I encourage you guys to do that too. If you can't find stuff online, and there's no shame in checking out Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, you know, yeah. to try, just try to find those seeds that you wanna grow. So we do have melons. We love watermelon. We grew our first watermelon <laughs> last year. Well. It was amazing, but a family member gave us a lot of rattlesnake melons. And so we saved those seeds. We're gonna do those ones. Mm -hmm. We're also gonna do some cantaloupe varieties. I'm a fan of cantaloupe. Mm. He doesn't love it so much. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, there's growth. <laughs> he says it's okay. And then um, this are, these are seeds from his dad and they are just a watermelon that has been passed down that he loved and saved. So we are gonna plant that as well. Um. Oh, this doesn't grow. We tried, we got. <laughs> Well, there's a, it doesn't grow. There's you know, this is one thing Jesse warned me about when I did seed swaps. He's like, how do you know the seeds are gonna grow? We were given this one and I've tried it every year and I can't get it to grow. So if you guys have any tips, it's called the gypsy pepper. I just can't get it to germinate. I don't know if it's bad seeds or. Yeah, the, then we got an Ozark Giant, looks like a bell pepper, except it's a red one. So maybe it'll be a little bit sweeter. I like the red ones. Mm -hmm. And regular bell peppers and of course jalapeno peppers because some of us like spicy. Mm -hmm. Our last category is cruciferous. Cruciferous, I hope I said that right. Um, our broccoli and cauliflower actually grew pretty well last year, but we have some things to tweak. Like our cauliflower, we've learned we have to cover it, try to, try to protect it from bugs. So we are gonna do cauliflower again. Cabbage did beautifully last year. We have both red and green here. And we have the Waltham broccoli, which we really enjoyed last year. So. We might really scale that back though, because- We did the, way too much. Yeah, and it did really well. <laughs> yes. Too well. So <laughs> well, you find that though with some years, some things just do so well, and then other things don't. Like last year, it was definitely onions and cruciferous, and potatoes actually did pretty well for us for the first time. <laughs> but then there was other things that were like, we're not growing at all. <laughs> the time you guys have been waiting for, talking about the giveaway. We hit our goal of a thousand subscribers in a year and uh, we thought we'd, we'd celebrate. So in the spirit of talking about seeds, we want to gift one of you guys a variety, <laughs> the baby's moving the camera, a variety of seeds to start your garden. If you're having a hard time finding, finding seeds, maybe this way um, you guys would have a good variety of seeds. So what you, what you have to do, make sure you're subscribed because this giveaway is as part of a thank you to our subscribers and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, give us an idea of what you might like to plant this year. Yep, and make sure you say that you wanna be entered into the giveaway. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. So this video will come out Friday, February 26, 2021, and it will close Thursday, March 4th, 2021. And we will announce the winner, and that video will come out that Friday, March 5th. Right, nice. Yeah, you <laughs> So we look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments below and letting us know about your seeds and stuff like that. Or if you just wanna uh, give a general comment, you know, to chat a little bit, we look forward to that as well. <laughs> but you, we'll honey. call that good for this video. We hope you're having a great time wherever you are and we hope to see you again in the next video. Take it easy. Bye-bye. <laughs>